The gap in the number of satellites between China, the United States and Russia is huge. The United States has 4,883 satellites, Russia has 256 satellites. How many does China have? As the satellite technology of various countries becomes more and more mature, the number of satellites in the Earth's orbit is also increasing. The United States alone has launched 4,883 satellites. As a former space power, Russia's satellite technology has shown a regressive trend, with only 256 satellites. However, the number of satellites in China is surprising. So, how many satellites has China launched so far? Let's take a closer look in this video. Nowadays, as countries become more and more proficient in satellite technology, there are more and more types of satellites, such as military satellites, meteorological satellites, resource satellites, navigation and positioning satellites, etc. Each type of artificial satellite has its own different uses. Therefore, the satellites around the Earth's orbit can be said to be a hodgepodge with all kinds of things. Especially the United States, the frequency and number of their satellite launches are like artificial satellites free of charge, and they are crazy about launching them into the Earth's orbit. At present, the number of satellites in orbit in the United States is about 4,883. Therefore, the United States is the country with the largest number of satellites launched on the Earth, and it is also the country with the largest number of satellites in orbit. From the U.S. military's GPS satellite positioning to Musk's Starlink plan, etc., the U.S. satellites can be said to cover our Earth in an all-round and no-dead-angle manner. Especially Musk's Starlink plan. This so-called Starlink plan is a ground orbit internet constellation plan proposed by SpaceX, the U.S. Space Exploration Technology Corporation. After the network of this plan is completed, the accuracy and anti-interference capability of the U.S. military's navigation and positioning system can be further improved and it can be used for direct collision interception of intercontinental missile warheads. Therefore, the United States is quite supportive of Musk's Starlink plan. After all, this plan is harmless and beneficial to the U.S. military. If SpaceX wants to complete this plan, it will probably need to launch 42,000 satellites to replace traditional communication facilities on the ground. As of December 30, 21, SpaceX has already sent more than 1,700 Starlink satellites into orbit. This year, SpaceX has launched two more Starlink satellites. It can be said that the number of Starlink satellites launched by SpaceX can even reach the total number of satellites in other countries. In addition, the number of remote sensing satellites in the United States is also ranked first in the world. As of May 1, 2023, the number of commercial remote sensing satellites in the remote sensing satellites in orbit in the United States has reached 395, accounting for 78.37% of the total number of satellites. This so-called remote sensing satellite is actually an artificial satellite used as an outer space remote sensing platform. The United States ranks first in the world in remote sensing satellites, while China ranks second. Nowadays, there is a first-come, first-served concept in the Earth's orbit. So, as one of the major space powers, why is the number of satellites of Russia so far behind that of the United States? Russia's satellite development path is actually different from that of the United States and China. In fact, Russia's predecessor, the Soviet Union, was the first country in the world to launch an artificial satellite. At that time, Russia's aerospace technology development was also very powerful, especially in the space race 
The Soviet Union realized the world's dream of human beings going into space. The success of the Soviet Union lifted the mysterious veil shrouding space for mankind. However, later, due to the disintegration of the Soviet Union, Russia's aerospace development was once suspended. As the winner of the space race at that time, the United States quickly became the world's aerospace hegemon. Later, after taking over the Soviet Union's aerospace development plan, Russia quickly returned to the research and development state, but at this time the United States had surpassed Russia by more than a little bit. In addition, after the disintegration of the Soviet Union, Russia needed to spend a lot of national strength and time to stabilize, so their aerospace technology showed signs of decline. However, now, Russia has begun to increase its efforts to deploy satellites. At present, the number of Russian satellites in orbit is about 256. Yuri Borisov, president of the Russian State Space Corporation, announced on January 24 last year, Russia plans to increase the number of satellites in orbit to at least 1,000 by 2030. It can be seen that Russia has begun to accelerate its satellite research and development and deployment plans. In addition, in addition to producing new artificial satellites, Russia also has to consider replacing old satellites in orbit so that their satellite production will be relatively large. Now there are still six years to 2030. As for what major updates and deployments will be made in Russia's satellite deployment, we can only wait and see. In recent years, China has also launched artificial satellites at a very high frequency, even surpassing the United States. So, how many satellites do we have in orbit? So far, China has about 687 satellites in orbit, ranking second in the world. Since China launched its first artificial satellite, Dongfanghong-1, in 1970, our speed has been like opening a cheat and satellite technology has developed rapidly. In addition to ordinary communication satellites, China has completed the networking of the Beidou Navigation and Positioning Satellite System, and the number of remote sensing satellites in orbit is also ranked second in the world. In the past decade, the number of space rockets launched by China has been doubling each year, and the number of launches in 2022 even exceeded 60. Not only that, China topped the list in the number of rocket launches in 2018 and 2021. It was not until 2022 that the United States surpassed China again with 83 rocket launches, returning to the title of a first. However, 61 of the rocket launches in the United States were from SpaceX, so Musk can be said to have made an indelible contribution to the current great achievements of American satellites. In 2023, the world will launch a total of 224 rockets. The United States still ranks first in the world with 116 launches, while China ranks second with 67 launches and Russia ranks third with 20 launches. Judging from this trend, the United States is not mentioned for the time being. Russia's launches have begun to increase significantly, and China still ranks second. It's not that China has no way to surpass the United States. If Musk's huge Starlink satellite plan is put aside, China is actually far ahead of the United States. On the other hand, China's remote sensing industry chain distribution has also taken shape. Today, China has mastered important technical fields such as satellite recovery, multiple satellites in one rocket, cryogenic fuel rocket technology, bundled rocket technology, and geostationary orbit satellite launch and measurement and control, and is quite confident in satellite development. To be honest, China's aerospace development is very rapid. 
Judging from the development timeline of the three countries, China, as the country that started the latest, has achieved such achievements in 54 years, which is a very fast speed. The development of aerospace in the United States in recent years has actually been relatively slow, and so has Russia. Only after China has made breakthroughs in multiple technological innovations and achieved many world firsts, has it successfully gained a say in the international status of aerospace. But then again, is the increasing number of satellites really a good thing? As early as 2021, some people questioned Musk's SpaceX for launching too many Starlink satellites, which caused the space in the Earth's orbit to be squeezed. In response, Musk also responded, there are tens of billions of orbiters that can approach the Earth's orbit. From his words, it seems that he doesn't care about the number of Starlink satellites launched by SpaceX, and even feels that it is not enough. SpaceX's rapid release of thousands of Starlink satellites will also cause the number of orbital positions to drop sharply. This will lead to Musk's Starlink world in the future. In addition, Starlink satellites have approached the Chinese space station twice, and there were Chinese astronauts on missions in the space station at the time. Subsequently, the astronauts took emergency avoidance measures for safety reasons. In space, even a small collision with the space station may lead to a destruction of the aircraft and death. In the future, the number of Starlink satellites will continue to increase, and even if the space space is very large, the space station may be in a dilemma of being unable to move. But on the other hand, the future development trend of satellites is still very objective, especially for commercial purposes. With the continuous opening up of the aerospace field, the speed of commercial satellite launches is becoming more and more frequent. Whether in China or abroad, there are commercial elements involved. SpaceX is the best example. Today, China has also clearly listed commercial aerospace as one of the strategic emerging industries. Therefore, China is heading towards the wave of commercial aerospace development. In this emerging industry, many people have chosen to go to sea to enter this first wave. This year, the successful launch of China's Gravity No. 1 and Force Aero No. 1 marked a major breakthrough in China's commercial launch vehicles. The opening up of aerospace development to commercialization is not only good for the country, but also can drive corporate economic development and talent training. Although China's commercialization model was opened up later, there is still a promising future. China's development in satellite technology is promising. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.